install. So patch a software update, only the main version remains same, patch bundle will change. Update means group of patches released for some over the period of time. Upgrade from completely from one version to another version. Okay. The purpose of patching or upgrade is for better security, better performance and enhancement. Enhancement is to support new features in the existing OS itself. And the tool we use here, if you want to apply patches, we have only one tool called VMware Update Manager. Okay. VMware Update Manager. And from 7.0 onwards, it is renamed to Lifecycle Manager. Okay. It's nothing new. Similar options only will be there. We'll see that. Now, we have our vCenter here. Okay, so our voice center via internet it is connected. So VM ESX was developed by VMware, right? So they develop patches, all the patches here. They will do three to four levels of testing. Then when once they feel that's safe to release, they will upload it to the patch server here. Patches will be placed here. Whoever has internet connect connection, they can download these patches and install in their infrastructure. So we, our vCenter itself has a tool called VMware Update Manager, VUM, okay. Update Manager. So this Update Manager will have the link for this download server because this is also VMware, VMware only developed these patches and this product Update Manager is also developed by VMware only. So they know that where the patches will be located. That in the update manager settings, that URL will be there for this patch server, where to download these patches. The link will be there already in the update manager. We can see that. Okay. So there will be setting also when to go and check the patches, either daily, weekly, or monthly, whatever it is. We can specify specific time also. Okay. So once you set, let's say every day after 6 p.m., this update manager will go to this patch server every day 6 p.m. and will check if there is any new patch. If there is a new patch, it will download and keep it here in the vCenter, one of the hard disks. Like that. Every day 6 p.m. it will go and check the URL. Whether there is any new patch, it will download. Because we don't know when they will release the patches. Whenever Every day 6 p.m. they will go. If there is a new patch, it will download and keep it here. So Microsoft has a frequency of every month, second Tuesday. Microsoft has this frequency. Every month, second Tuesday, they release patches for all their Microsoft products. Okay. Windows, 
SQL, SharePoint, Hyper-V, whatever the operative products they have from Microsoft, they release software patches on every second Tuesday. That company has only the uh, exact time frame. Every month, second Tuesday, they release. No other companies has that formula. Like, no, whenever they feel that patches are ready, they will release that. So there is no frequency for VMware also. Microsoft only has this VH uh, specific patched release date for all their products. They release on second Tuesday, Windows 10, Windows 11. Almost. Microsoft, there is, uh, sorry, VMware, there is no specific timeline like that. Whenever they feel they are ready to release, they release. That's, it. That's why every day we can set whatever the time that we want to set. At that time, update manager will go and verify. If there is a new patch, it will download and keep it here. Now, your company will have some standard. Every quarter, we have to apply all the patches to the ESXi host. Okay. So, patches released from April, May, June. We have to apply from July 1st onwards. Okay, like that. So, patches release. Few companies will have quarterly patching. Few people will have half year and yearly no one will have no custom that means whenever they feel they want to install the patches they will install okay few companies only will have quarterly patching and half yearly patching every three months they will install the patches which are released in the previous three months okay like that so whatever it may be we want to install the patches which are available in the update manager to the ESXi host. Now our technical work will start how to install these patches on every ESXi. This is the history beside how the patches will come to the update manager. From here onwards, we have to apply to the ESXi. If you want to install patches or if you want to upgrade, we use this tool called update manager only. Okay. Only the content will change, source content will change. If it is patches, it's called patching. If it is ESXi, higher version of ISO image in the source, it's called upgrade. We'll do that. We'll do this activity. Then we'll come to the same procedure. We'll apply for patching and we'll apply for upgrade also. Okay. So update manager is the tool. Security, performance, enhancements are the reasons for patching. And patch is a software update. Group of patches is called update. And one version to another version, we call it as upgrade. Completely from one version to another version, upgrade. Okay. So update manager will be the part of vCenter itself. So it will go automatically and verify if there is any new patch in the download server. It will automatically download here. It will be in the repository. It will not apply to the ESXi host. It's our duty now to apply these patches on our ESXi machine. Any questions as of now here? This will be your so they will provide like uh, you know uh, I mean uh, number number and like you know KB number while uh, patching the ESXi so they will give a patch number also right so uh, based on that patch number we need to uh, patch that ESXi yes am I correct or not yes so if they give specific number patch number to patch right so you can check here type ESXi build number the KB VMware KB itself. All the build numbers are available here. Okay. Let's say you want to apply this bundle 1989804. So you should check CSXI 7.0 update 3E bundle. Release date will be like this, but update 3E you need to check. So you can copy this number name. Three or in the bottom itself, it will have link. Okay. 
this is determining okay are you just really if it if you're using update manager right this is enough you don't need to even manually go down this is a bill number you want to apply release date is uh 2022 june okay so you have to set a filter up to june so that june 14 so that you get these patches and bill this bill number will be installed on top We'll see that next step you will come to know the filter creating a filter okay is there any possibility like you know uh, i mean uh, you know while updating i mean while doing patching so windows servers i have seen like you know uh, failed status is there any possibility for say exa yeah it's possible to fail maybe we'll see the reasons as well if your vcenter is very far away from your host like if we vcenter is in hyderabad and ESXi is in Bangalore. There is a possibility that it may fail. Over the internet, it will copy the patches. Okay. Because of network connectivity only, it may fail. Otherwise, normally no. If it fails, we know how to patch offline method using command line. We have discussed Sunday one uh, during offline yeah, method, right? Yeah. Method you can follow. Yeah. Fine. So the update manager patching process or upgrade process involves the below steps. Create a baseline. So what will happen when you enter a host into maintenance mode? Yes. Fv motion will migrate all the VMs in under Fv motion. Not Fv motion. Yeah, Fv motion.
This is optional step, not a mandatory thing. These are the steps okay. involved in patching or upgrading using update manager. Very, very important. Daily, three, four times you will maybe working with this process. Okay. So baseline creation. Here, all the patches are downloaded here. Using update manager, we have to filter them. Let's say from January 1st to March 31st, whatever the patches are released, we have already installed. Now we have to install April 1st to June, end of the June. Whatever the patches released, we have to install now. So going into the update manager, we have to create a filter. Patches released from April 1st, 2022 to June last, 2022. Filter them into one group. The patches will be here only, but we will create a, just a group. We'll create a, just a group within the update manager repository. So that's called baseline. We filter the patches from the patch repository into a separate group. Okay. ESXi, update section, update manager, baseline we have to create. Here, there will be different types of baselines, three types. Okay. Mainly very, very important for interview point of view also. Patch, upgrade, extension. Three types of baselines will be there. This is for patching. Okay. Within the existing version, only the patches will be installed. Okay. If you select upgrade, one version to another version, it will upgrade. Okay. But here, it will not, by the type, if you select, right, the content inside the baseline also will vary. We are creating a baseline with the data. If you include patches, it's called patching. If you include ESX or ISO image, it will be upgrade. This is for third party software. Something like Meet drivers, HBI drivers, if you want to install, we have to select extension. While creating a baseline, you have to select extension. Okay, then create next, enter a name, select time duration if you want to remove patches from the filter again there is one patch released in may 15th okay so i'll give the timeline here you are trying to create a baseline from april 1st to june 31st so june it has 30 okay, 30. so you want to exclude one of the patch which was released in may 25th something like this okay. you can include you can include or exclude the patches during the baseline creation. You can select that base, uh, patch which was released on May 25, select and remove. The remaining patches will be filtered as a baseline. Understood? Okay. If you want to exclude or include any patches that is possible while creating the baseline, 
for a specific reason if you know april 1st to june 30th you have to apply but one of the patch which is released on may 25th you have to remove you can remove okay so that here it is possible while creating a baseline if you select host patches the patches from the update manager will be included in the bundle and it is called patching if you select upgrade okay if you select the patch baseline type as upgrade you have to select the iso image esxi iso image you have to it will be shown only esxi iso image only okay iso image will be included in the baseline if it is, if you select extension third party softwares third party drivers it will not come here only vmware patches will be there then how can we install third party drivers you need to download this nic and hpa drivers if it is nic from broadcam you have to download the broadcam drivers from the broadcam website and manually import here okay we have to manually import because it is update manager it will download only from vmware it cannot download from broadcam we have to manually go and download the patches from broadcam and import it here how to import that we will see manually import the patches even that is one of the interview question they will ask i don't have internet connection to my v center okay i can update manager cannot download patches directly from vmware website so how to import patches here now same like third party softwares we can download vmware patches also so download patches to one of your laptop or desktop here any windows machine or your laptop download the patches first here download to your windows machine from here to patch repository you can import okay so that i'll go ahead How to import patches into update manager repository manually okay. update manager home repository import option will be there then browse and select patches you need to have it then on a windows machine or your laptop or any windows machine download them first from here you log into vcenter go to update manager update manager home repository import when you ask click on import it will ask you where is the patch bundle select this as a bundle it will download from here to here then while creating baseline if you select extension that you which you have downloaded here right now will be filtered into that baseline now okay whichever we have manually imported from your windows machine to the update manager repository instead of directly downloading from vmware we manually download and we can put the patches here in the repository also this is update manager repository So all we can manually import the patches into update manager repository as well while selecting select extension those patches will be selected so once our vcenter comes up we can do this thing okay. if you select host patches it will be patching upgrade means one version to another version extension means third party drivers nic drivers and hpa drivers okay this will be your continuous process like patching and third after upgrade third party drivers installation once you do that you can do uh, continuously like it will be your continuous work right you will be familiar with it okay. once you create a baseline then you have to attach the baseline is filtered here now now this baseline we have to attach to the host it will not copy from here just that bundle reference will be connected 
not the patches will be still here only in the patch update manager repository in the bundle will be just attached to the asxi host then enter the host into maintenance mode because we are going to reboot the server even if you skip this not a problem at this step it will automatically enter into maintenance mode okay but better to enter manually into maintenance mode here even this step you can do even here also before reboot remediation also you can do or you can do even before creating a baseline also not a problem enter host into maintenance mode at any stage you can enter into maintenance mode okay not mandatory that here only you need to enter you can enter even before creating a baseline then scan for compatibility check so you need to check know whether let's say your colleague has patch of the server yesterday itself you don't need to patch it again right the patching is done yesterday itself again you don't need to install patches or maybe you are installing patches which is not relevant to this product you have esxi 6.7 but you are trying to install esxi 7.0 patches here it's not correct right 7.0 patches you cannot install on 6.7 right so that's why we have to check the compatibility if you do the scan then that result will come to know here scan output if it is green compliance that means already installed if it is yellow non compliance we can install gray color no depends on you you need to no like whether you can install or not then you can install so something like every patch even if it is nic driver and hba driver developed by third party companies they will send those patches to the vmware first and they will ask them to check the vmware company vmware will check those drivers if they feel it's safe to install on esxi they will certify the vendor that you can release these patches for network nic and hba across worldwide if it is certified by vmware it will show either green or yellow definitely it will show okay it is ready to install or maybe already installed it will show that information if they have not certified let's say bradcom company did not send those patches for vmware approval but they released in the market saying that you can install it on esxi 6.7 okay but now vmware is not aware of those patches because they did not certify and it will show as green vmware is not aware of the patches that you are trying to install if you are very sure you install if you are not sure don't install okay if vmware is also not sure and you are also not sure it's something not correct don't install if you are very sure that your company is installing these patches frequently then you can do that okay depends it's up to you in an interview nobody will ask just for your understanding i'm telling okay. if it is green it is already installed if it is yellow you can ready to install based on the outcome of the baseline here staging it is not a mandatory step nobody will perform this step also directly they will go for remediation now after scanning the baseline they will go for remediation then what is the remediation means installation the patches from here copy and install parallelly to the esxi host it is in maintenance mode all the vms are moved to another host already now now we can install so the patches will copy from update manager repository to the esxi host and will be installed clear next 
what is staging then if you directly install why we need to do staging that's where common interviewer will ask what is staging why we need staging because remediation this patching process everybody who learn vmware can answer okay but very few guys will be aware of staging what is staging Fine. So staging we'll see now. If your vCenter is in Bangalore, let's say it is running on the Bangalore data center host, one of the host in Bangalore data center. Okay. And this host is also in Bangalore. And for some reason, another cluster, another host is in Hyderabad. Okay. Maybe same cluster, same cluster, nobody will place different cluster only, just for visual representation. I'm writing here itself. One host is in Hyderabad. Another host is in Bangalore. Okay, V Center is also in Bangalore. Okay. Now, if you are directly remediating, in both the cases, we'll see without staging. Without staging, directly you are remediating. From patch repository, it will copy and install patches to the ESX site directly. Parallel. It's a parallel process. Copy and install continuously, it will happen. Both are in Bangalore location only. So even if it is there in the same data center or different different data center within the Bangalore location, geographical location, right? So it will installation complete properly. Installation will be fine. And if you do the same thing on Hyderabad, the copy and install process will happen from here to here. Patch copy and install process will happen from repository to the Bangalore location, Hyderabad location. The copy will happen over the internet to the ESX site. One, one patch will be copying and installing another patch copies. It will come, it will come parallel, it will be happening. If internet is slow, if the task is going for beyond eight hours, beyond eight hours, if the patching is going on, the vCenter has a time limit of eight hours patching. If it is going for beyond eight hours, it will cancel that patching on that particular host. Same host, not all the host. If it is same host, you applied now, click on remediate. But even after eight hours, it did not complete. vCenter will automatically cancel that task because it is not safe to continuously install something eight hours, which is not completed. One single task you are completely doing for eight hours which is not fair. VMware has that time limit of eight hours. Okay. After eight hours, if the patching is still going on, it will automatically cancel. Even if you try again, again eight hours, it will fail. Okay. To avoid this, okay, to perform, to handle these kind of situations, staging is there. If you do staging, what will happen, right? First, these patches will copy to the ESX, right? Local hard disk first okay the patches from update manager to the ESX local directory they will copy installation will not happen remediation means copy and install together copy plus install together will happen here staging means only copy the copy will be happening from here to here even if it is eight hours, 10 hours, doesn't matter. We are, we center will not do anything because we are not doing anything on the host. We are not installing on the host. We are just copying to the local directory. Even if it is 10 hours, it will wait. We center will wait. Once the patches are completed, you can click on remediate. Once you remediate from this local directory to the ESXi, it will install. So that this task will complete fast. So without failure, we can perform patching. If you do staging, if your vCenter is far away from your ESXi host geographically, they are in a different, different cities, you can take the advantage of staging. That's why it's optional. Normally, if it is in the same data center, we don't need to do staging. If your host is very far away from vCenter, you can. Your customer has only one vCenter. They have data centers from Bangalore, 
Delhi, Hyderabad, Chennai, okay, different cities. All the host from each data center is added in the same V center. In that situation, you can take this advantage of staging. Without failure, we can perform the patching. Even for some reason, if it is failing through update manager, you can use command like offline method patching as well. Same process what we have done. Clear? If you know these four or five steps, you can answer three different questions. How to patch an ESXi host? How to upgrade an ESXi host? How to install third party drivers on an ESXi host? Any of the question, same answer. I will create a baseline. I will attach the baseline. I'll enter the host into maintenance mode. I'll scan for compatibility check. Then I will remediate it. After restart, I will verify the host patching, post the upgrade check, then release from uh, exit from maintenance mode. You can just simply telling just two lines. I'll create a baseline, I'll attach the baseline, I'll enter a host into maintenance mode, I'll scan for a compatibility check, I will remediate. After reboot, I will verify the post upgrade checks and exit from maintenance mode. Just one more line you can tell. If someone asks how will you upgrade and host using update manager, you can tell. Within a vCenter, if you create baseline once, it will be visible to all the hosts. Let's say you have 100 hosts in the vCenter. If you create baseline once is enough. One baseline itself you can use to apply on all the hosts in the vCenter. One vCenter, one baseline is enough. Again, next quarter, again you have to create one more baseline. Okay, every vCenter you need. So, like to understand whether you really worked or not, whether you have good understanding of this topic here or not. The last question, I have 100 hosts in the vCenter. Okay. How many baselines do I need to create? So people who have not worked really okay, will be confused here. So patching they might have heard like we have to create a baseline, we have to attach baseline, ESXi, this process they know. But now per vCenter one is enough. If you don't know that logic, then you will say I need 100 baseline. Then definitely you will understand that you have not worked. Even though you have worked, answered well all other questions, here it shows we know. Fine, that's mostly one vCenter, one baseline is enough. That baseline will be visible to all the hosts in the vCenter. Again, next quarter from October 1st onwards, you need to create one more baseline because the, we have crossed that patch cycle, right? Another set of patches we are installing. Okay, we have to create a baseline once. So from step two onwards, it will be repetitive. This is once. Creating a baseline is once for patching cycle and rest of the steps, these are repetitive. Somebody will ask, have you created a baseline? You can say yes or normally your team leader or manager or like not manager, SME, senior in the team will create a baseline I and mean, he will inform all the team members that you this quarter you apply this baseline. Everybody will be doing from second step onwards. That's why they will ask, have you ever created a baseline? If you say yes, definitely they will ask this one. What are the types of baselines available? Patch, upgrade and extension. Then you will ask what are the mean? Okay. Patch means only the patches will be installed. Upgrade means one version to another version. Upgrade bundle will, uh, upgrade ISO image will be included. Extension means third party drivers. If you are to install NIC or the HBA drivers, select the extension. Upgrade, upgrade bundle. Clear? And if update manager is not connected to internet, how to manually import the patches, how to perform patches? We can import manually to laptop and from there to we can import it to update manager repository and create baseline. Let's say even update manager itself is not available, how will you perform patching? How will you perform if update manager is not available? I want to apply patches, but update manager is not available. <coughs> Just now we discussed, right? Using offline upgrade, offline patching. Patching and upgrade, whatever it may be, offline also it's possible. 
Yes, we will also uh, we'll go to we'll go for uh, half an hour, half an hour. No? I mean, as we discussed right. earlier, yeah. second half is offline. No, I didn't get you. Can you repeat? I mean, second option is uh, offline, right? Offline mode. We'll apply back. Yeah, if object manager is not available or you don't have internet to your vCenter, offline method you can go. For. Yeah, yeah. These are the steps. Remember, I will create a baseline. I will attach the baseline. I'll enter the host into maintenance mode. I'll scan for compatibility check. I will remediate. Okay, just four steps. You don't need to worry about the rest of the thing. These things will help you to clear interviews. Okay. In day-to-day -day job also, you should know these things. So, uh, normally, which one is recommended to go on, uh, like, you know, uh, in daily basis, uh, so we are playing uh, patches for ESXP, which one is, uh, you know, recommended to go, right? I mean, uh, method. Uh, project manager, you know, other one. Across worldwide, commonly used method is update manager only. 90% of the cases, people will use update manager. Okay. Any other question? Fine. Maybe I'll show this lab later. I would think. See if the center is up. Now, well, I mean, um, I mean, today's back we have discussed about like you know, we center upgrade, right? So, while upgrading, uh, upgrading, you know, we center, I mean, we center. So, we have uh, told me like you know, uh, SFT server. So, may you know that what is the SFT server? Man? I mean, I even have seen that one, but I am not aware. Yeah, it's TP file transfer protocol server. We can copy the data. Okay. From our vCenter and please place it there. FTP okay. file transfer protocol. Okay. So here, select the ESXi machine, updates tab, update manager home. Click here, baselines. Here you can create a baseline. Okay. Baseline. And let's say Q2 patching. Let's say Q3 patching. I'll say Q3 patching. Upgrade. You have to select ISO image from here. Update manager. There is no ISO image available here. We have to manually import to the repository. As of now, in this repository, there is no ISO image. That's why it's showing empty. We have to manually import. Then only it will show. If you select extension, for third party drivers there are no third party drivers also in the repository that's why it's showing empty okay select patch the patches will be included so from which date to which patches you want to include you can ignore auto, uh, everything okay here only you have to select on or after from which date and which on nobody will prefer normally on or before is enough before June 30th, whatever the patches are released, include it here. These are the patches released until June, th June 30th. If you want to exclude, select this one and we can exclude also. Exclude should be somewhere here. Port is normally to list only. Okay. It's not showing. It used to be there. That's fine. We'll see here. Finish. A baseline is created. Q3 baseline is created now. Okay. If you want to import ISO images, go to ESXi ISO image, import. If it is patches, upload from a file. We have to manually browse from your laptop and import into this repository. If you import it here, it will be placed here. If this is a repository. Okay. Yes, if it is ESXi image, import. I'll, I'll import. It was 
stairs in there. Seven six dot seven. Okay, import. That file will be imported here. From your laptop, your same way patches also you can import. If we update manager, we don't have internet connection. This is 6.7 ISO image. So if there are any ESXi host with the 6.5, we can upgrade them. So here, creating a baseline, select upgrade ESXi 6.7. That ISO image will be, will be visible now. Earlier, it was not showing anything. Now it is showing because we imported manually. That suitable ISO image is on. Click on finish. Baseline is created. One patch baseline. An upgrade baseline is created here itself. We can see content patch upgrade extension. It will show now. Go to our host and cluster. Here is the setting that you can see uh, where it will download from uh, patch download settings. Here, uh, date you can change here on which date uh, daily or weekly or monthly. What date you want to download the patches? Normally, this will be. Uh, of business hours, after the business hours, it will be. If you want to add or change the URL, you can place the URL here. Normally, nobody will touch. This is the URL where the VMware will patch the updates. From this URL, automatically it will download the patches to this repository. Okay. Go to host and clusters, update section, attach. I want to attach it on 13 is disconnected. Because it is not powered up. Okay, you try it on the other host. Okay, from here I'll just show you quickly. Attach baseline, not a group, just attach, attach baseline. Select which one you want, upgrade or patching. Here it's also you can see. Let's say upgrade, attach. You have attached as of now, it is showing unknown. Select it and do check compliance. Scanning. This is scanning. In the recent task, we can see whether the scanning is going or not. What happened? Recent task. It is not. Okay. Scanning is completed. Non-compliant. That means ready to install. Okay. Then enter host into maintenance mode. Select. You can if it is an upgrade bundle, right? Staging is not applicable, only applicable for patching and extension. Then click on remediate. It will be automatically it will install and it will reboot the server and server will connect back to the vCenter. Here I can verify build number. Okay. You try it on 13 or any other ESXi host. Okay, if 13 was up, we could have tested here itself, but uh, it's not ready. Okay, it's a uh, now we'll see if it is quickly allows us to. Okay. 
by the patches. Still not up. Try to upgrade the server. So the steps are there clearly. I've show, just showed you as well. You can try it. Okay. If you bring one of the nested hosts, you can try it out. Go to update section, attach, select the baseline which you want, then select the baseline, check compliance, make sure it is non compliant, okay. then remedy it. Then finally, after reboot, verify the build. Any other 